Hi everyone, welcome to Econaba TV. This is your host, Tesh Monjasenina. And next to me, I have Ricky as my guest on my show, which is called Conversations with Tash. Now we have an interesting topic to talk about today. Mm. All right. Mm. So how, here's the topic. How has religion has helped Africa? Mm -hmm. Mm. We all know that the religion, which is Ingolo, mm. Apikaya, a South Africa Kwasibiza Kanjolo, which is Ingolo, we have two types of religion. Mm. Some people believe in tradition. Mm. Some believe in Christianity. Now, this is what we want to discuss. How has it helped Africa? Or is there any? Oh, has it helped Africa? Yeah. Or oh, has it helped Africa? Mm. What, what is the contribution it has brought in the African land? Mm. Now, we are going to discuss that with my guest, Ricky. Um, I hope that everyone will have time to tune in and listen and engage with us, whether it's in comment section or in all our social media platforms. Mm. You can follow us in all our social media platforms, mm. which is at Econaba TV, and on YouTube, it's Econaba TV Official. You can follow us or download our radio station, which is Econaba Radio from the Play Store. All right, Ricky, mm -hmm. let's get on to it. Mm -hmm. What is your view on this? Okay, let me share what I believe in or what I think mm. is right. Mm. Well, for me, I always say mm. each to their own. Okay. Those that believe in Christianity, mm. if it works for them, because obviously they will say we don't see anything mm. that ha that tradition um, has com com contributed in the society. Okay. Vice versa, as for those that only believes in tradition, will say that um, we don't see anything Christianity has um, contributed mm. um, positively or usefully mm. in our society or in our lives. Mm. So I want people not to be confused. Mm. So let's put religion as the mother body. Okay. Then under its wing, let's have Christianity, and then we have tradition. Okay. Yes. That's a good because, definition. Yes, because both of them, mm. they are given birth by tradition. Um, pardon me, mm. by religion. So religion is Christianity and tradition. Because Yingolo, it's what people believe in. Okay. There's no other way mm. than um, given both um, tradition also... and Christianity. I'm going to give you a chance, my friend, just okay. a second. Um, cr both Christianity and tradition, to me, they've been given birth by religion. So, which is religion is the mother body that gave birth to Christianity and um, tradition. So what's your take on this? How has religion um, contributed or has helped Africa? Okay, there's a, there's a side to consider here. Okay. Yes, we can tackle Indabaye tradition. Yes. But there is also the root for me, it's yes. culture. Yes. More culture than tradition. There's a separation okay. between culture and tradition. Okay, yes, right. there is. Yes. There so, is, I understand very well. Your culture, your language, your whatnot, like the basics of things yes. that, that make up thing. Yes. And so from a culture, you will get the language that will formulate the roots of, or the bedrock yes. of how you communicate certain things. For example, I'm Fender. Yes. If there is anything that you do not ever do, mm. it says something like, if you say, it's a cuss word. As yes. a matter of fact, it's a cuss word to my mother. Yes. And so, but you, if you go to other cultures, yes, uh, that doesn't Which make any not. difference. Yes. For example, if you go to China, yes, in China you don't point a person an with elder. one finger. Okay. You'll notice that when they point at each other, they kind of like put out their entire hand. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's part of their culture, culture. which roots up. 
whatever traditions they will build up as yes. they grow. Yes. So, uh, religion a lot of times tends to get the mockery. But what people don't realize is that religion creates the bridge between your old traditions, remember? Okay. Culture, your language, what yes, not. Yes. So your, tra- your, your traditions and your modern world. Religion okay. builds the bedrock or the, 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 the bridge in between those things. And where do you see it best? I'll give you one example. Okay. In education. Okay. I'm we don't listening. like it, but I'm, okay, I'm education listening. is an example of how religion has given a greatest, one of the greatest con, uh, contribution. Yes. For example, uh, some of the first lecturers in the world yes. were bishops. Okay. There is a reason why when they started AMA organizations like your Freemasons and whatnot, they had issues with what? With church and state because church and state were almost infused together because the lecturers were religious people. And so automatically that brought about the belief system because the people that knew the book were people that knew that were religious. Okay. Um, I think I am not agreeing with all of what you're saying, my friend, because as much as you're saying that religion, to, ad- to summarize what you, are, you, what you have just said to me yes. now, I feel like I'm getting the not supporting religion, relig- religion, excuse me, religion um, contributed positively in our lives. Yes. Like you just said that um, it has It has great contribution. It, is that what you are saying? Yes. Religion has contributed so big. For instance, there were places that, I'm not a Catholic, but there were places that uh, you would find the Catholic Church where uh, the government has it, hasn't gotten to, but because when Catholics moved, yes. they moved with their bishops, they moved with their church, they moved with hospitals. Like, for example, in my village, for all of the 90s, the only hospital we had was a Catholic hospital. When those Catholics left, we didn't have a church. We didn't have a hospital. So religion, you might not like it, but it brought with it a thingy. It brought with it uh, the, the benefits of society, of what society's biggest needs are. So in, in the big, if, if, you, if you take... For example, the example that I gave of, yes, the, of yes, the, yes. the people that were teaching, right? Yes. Some people were the learning teaching, using yes. the Bible. That's why they say some of the, coin, the biggest coined words that we use today, they were coined during the period of King James. But then, if you are saying or if you believe that religion has comp- contributed positively, mm-hmm. but why has it birthed? different um, um, beliefs Mm -hmm. because now there are people in their religion or who are saying that no my religion is bowing to an idol Mm -hmm. for example yes there are people who are saying as much as we are all from uh, a god so because some will say i know we are all from god we are all god's children but then they know that our religion Mm -hmm. we believe to so and so mm-hmm. so is that the negative that you see yes this is the negative that i'm seeing okay now let's let's start first at the goods that i spoke about yes the good helped us to communicate abroad right now we are on a platform that's originally from ghana yes uh, me i'm vendor yes so if i was if i just had my vendor roots there was no way of me communicating with the viewer right now yes. but because of islung which came on a boat i now have a, a bridge that f- that fits into a, this new form of tradition this is a new so tradition that, yes you see yes. that so we are creating this this is the thing that a lot of africans don't like we are creating a modern version of our tradition okay so what you are saying is that um Let's stick to let's stick to religion. Let's 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 not 
let's not take religion and say it has not it hasn't done anything to yes. us, into our lives mm. okay so let's go to tradition and christianity okay let's start with tradition since we were talking okay. about okay. religion okay okay let's go let's to go to tradition remember that tradition um some would say at home this is how we do things mm. I might come from a Kosa tribe. I am Kosa, by the way. Mm -hmm. I might come from a Kosa tribe, but that that does not mean all Amakosa are doing the same thing. Okay. Some Kosas uh, do slaughter a goat or a cow. Mm. Some don't. Mm. Some uses a sheep. Some uses a goat. Or it might depend to different types of rituals that mm. require um, such. Mm. Okay. Now, Tell me, let's say, for example, let me make an example of myself. Mm. I was I, exposed in both worlds. Mm -hmm. I was exposed in the tradition side and the Christianity side. Mm. My, my, grand, my late grandfather, mm. um, when he was about to do, let's say, we're having a ritual at home, he will stand outside the yard. We have um, a, 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 a pole mm -hmm. where there's horns. Mm -hmm. So... He will stand there wearing um, his beads, which is in Zimbi, mm -hmm. Kosa mm -hmm. beads. And then um, he will pray before he does anything. Pray to God. Pray to God okay. before he does anything. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching that. Mm -hmm. I grew up watching that. Um, then I concluded that, okay, this is the way to go. You can mix both. This is the way to go. Okay. But then... As I am growing up, you now hear and you can't. I, I, I see new stuff that um, um, some are saying when you are past, uh, when you are passing, mm. you don't have to pray. You can chisa in Bepoyako, which is there, you can light the surge mm. and, and speak to your guides. Mm -hmm. Whereas um, some in my family will remind me that remember. Mm. We also remember who you are, mm -hmm. you are exposed to both worlds, tradition and Christianity. Mm -hmm. When you pass, you need first uh, light the candles, speak to God, and then light the sage, and pass, speak to your guides. Now, somewhere, I think we are seemed uh, lost. Okay. But I think it depends to, 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 to being standing firm that this is what I was taught. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I know. Okay. Now, um, I'll question. give you a second. Yes, yes, I I'll answer. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you now. Mm. Um, but then what I want to know mm. is that when we grow up, do we have a choice to decide? Do I have a choice to decide to follow both as something that I was exposed to or I can choose? Okay. Will that make me... Will that um, will that mean you have compromised? I yes, get you. I get what yes, you mean. Yes, yes. Um, I think first before we go to whether it is compromise, let's go back to let, let's go back to the foundation of what tradition was and what okay. tradition is not. Okay. Let's start there. And what the, tradition is. Yes. What it was, what is not, and what it and is. What it is, yeah. Yes. So the past, the yes. present, and the future. Yes. So the past. Let's start with the past. There is a point in your tradition where God wasn't known. Okay. Right? They would have they would have described God in one form or the other. Right? Okay. But they didn't know him. This is why in the Bible we have a reference even of a people that were worshipping the unknown God. Mm. They didn't know who he was. They, they just said, you know, there's the God for the water, there's the God for... But then there is the unknown God mm. who's the creator of it all. Mm. So, when Paul comes, he introduces them to who the unknown God is. Is. While we're on that, because <laughs> um, I, I just want to um, point out something. Mm. something. You are saying that in the tradition side, they did not know who there God was. There is a point where they didn't know the God that you know. Okay. 
Now, I just say to you, mm. my late grandfather, mm. let's say this is something old that was months ago. Yes. Where I was still young, but I would watch him in uh, the in the kraal, or in the in, in the family kraal, where who he would stand and say, um, God, blah blah blah, before I do this, blah 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 blah. And then he does the tradition stuff. Mm-hmm. But there's, so he, there's something he, he didn't know about God that you know. And which is it? Which which is it? Wow. There are certain characters you understand about God that he didn't. But I wouldn't know God now if it wasn't for them. If they didn't expose me no, to the Christianity side. It's 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 all I get what you mean. Eh? But what I'm trying to point out is that there are certain there is certain there's a certain depth uh, in Christianity we call it intimacy. Mm. There is an intimacy in knowledge. I was about to I was about to say um so I think you are trying to say the knowledge that he had of and the no- God, of God that and the knowledge that I have are now are too different. Okay. Yes. So the way when was today yes. it has evolved from how he described. So you are able to describe or to give a full on definition yes. of God. So yes. which means your your version your, your idea of God has completely evolved from what his was. What it do does, you, what do you think what what is it that he knew about God or the people a lot of the or people our, or our ancestors or our guides what what is it that you think or you believe that they did not know about God okay i'll give you an example and then just oh, yes yes the thing is we like to give them too much credit okay yes let's not do that okay, <laughs> okay. let's acknowledge where they were because that's what the Bible says. Mm. The Bible says God will judge everyone based on the knowledge they had. Yes. But then as we are here loading them with knowledge, no, they knew. No, no they didn't. Mm. They didn't. You see it in the interactions. There is uh, this book, Encyclopedia of South Africa. You read the interactions that our ancestors were having with foreigners. And you see, these people didn't know God. This is why when we have... <laughs> Don't worry, I'm okay, okay. This is why when we have e evolution, the evolution yes. of our our cultures as they stand, yes. from the north, this is where Africans learn about God. Not from Europeans. That's why I don't like mm-hmm, that mm-hmm, n- mm-hmm. that narrative that God came to Africa on a ship. It's nonsense. Ayiko. It's it's not there. Why? Because already in the book of Acts. Mm. And remember, the book of Acts is written between the same period after the the book of Luke is written. Mm. He writes it as a follow-up book. Mm. So which means this is roughly around the period of 30, 30, 35 AD all the way up until, and we know that by the time he finishes the book of Acts, uh, Paul is still alive mm. because he writes about the conversion of the the, the murders that uh, Saul was doing. Mm-hmm. He murders about the con- he writes about the conversion. He writes about the ministry of Paul, but he doesn't write about the death. So we know by the time the book of Acts was written, historically, the book was was done by the time. Mm-hmm. The, so Saul. Paul died by the around 70 AD. So it took it uh, between the period of 38, 35 AD to 70 AD, the book was done. Now, why am I noting that? Mm. That means that when 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 Paul is writing that particular mm. narrative mm. or that story of of uh, of uh, of when Luke, my bad, when, when Luke is writing mm. the book of Acts, and he writes down the story of the Ethiopian eunuch. Remember the Ethiopian eunuch. Mm was a man who was a, a, who was going to Jerusalem to worship and he's introduced to Philip mm. and he came down with the scrolls mm. so already Ethiopians already had the Bible they already in the book of Acts they already had it this is why in Limpopo if you go to Limpopo mm, right now mm, mm. there is what we uh, there is a group of people there yes, yes. In Limpopo. Um, I'm looking for, I'm trying to remember the original name that we call them by. Bashar. Mm. It's Bashar. It's king. They are like, kind of okay. like kings. Bashar, these ones are Jewish. They are Jews in, in Limpopo, mm. for those that didn't know. Oh, okay. Legit Jews that came down 
with things. So the introduction of God in Africa has always been coming down. And remember, that's why even in, in the evolution of East Venda, the Venda yes, yes. history, it tells you that we have vendors that come from Congo. We have vendors that come from thing. And if you listen Same to Lamu, Lamu Chosa, Akona Nase, Zimbabwe, they are there mm-hmm. in Zimbabwe. Do you yes. see that? So the thing is, if we have to acknowledge, we have to unearth that history in mm-hmm. order to understand what they knew. You know, what I don't understand, uh, Ricky, is that they respected God that much. For example, let's go back to, 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 to my late grandfather. <laughs> he respected him that much. Um, hence, whatever, his, he, whatever he wanted to start with or to practice or to do, he knew that I have to start with my creator. So, would you say that our forefathers respected someone that they did not know about? They didn't fully that know much? him. They didn't fully know him. They, God, only God knows what they knew or what they believed, but they didn't fully know him. Okay, yeah. I think I think guys, we have a homework to do. <laughs> I think we have a homework to do because I believe that most of us because of what we were exposed to of or, or, or of what we grew up seeing or watching yeah. we thought that, that was right or they were right or they knew better yeah but there's a saying when Ricky that says um indlela ibuzwa kwabaphambili okay which is the road Those is that have gone ahead. yes yes but we know where that comes from right we know that that comes from the trackers you know, every single tribe used to have Amatrekas, the people yes. that used to line up a thing. Of course, white people didn't invent maps, yes, guys. Yes, yes. We had people that used to track down maps and know how to move around and stuff like that. So we knew that they knew something, but they, what they knew is not what we know. What we know is of a, of a higher grade. Now, right now, you, you can have a person who's very traditional, yes. but is not religious, but knows the Bible. And you ask them why, mm. th- those earlier parts that I mentioned, that when the Catholics came to Africa, they didn't bring only religion. They brought their health system. They brought everything with them. So some of us know our Father who art in heaven yes. because in primary we were given we were that. Taught that. Now let's go back to what did, what did this faith yes, that we yes, have now yes, abandoned, yes. what did it teach us? Mm. Let's go back into the the bill of rights if you think of the values of the bill of rights yes it's literally the bible it's literally the bible you have a right to a name yes you have a right to life a right to be respected right to be it's all these things what is where do these things things come from is that i'm seeing you within the image of god not my yes, image yes yes i get you so it, it our our bill of rights or uh, the way we see our bill of rights it gives even the child rights over the yes, parents yes so what does that show you we are acknowledging our origin from god but it's not like our forefathers were not doing that i'm sure you are going to answer me and I'm say gonna answer. they were but not they were fully not but okay let me give you an example understanding who god was when they used to crown a, a, a king yes there were people that used to be killed okay yes we know these things we know okay. these things as a matter of fact in the vendor culture they used to tell you that the the, the the dogs are out they used to announce it the dogs are out so which means nobody must go because mm-hmm. when the when the king is about to be crowned someone will go missing so this tells you that they knew but there is an area in there <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that, that's where I don't want to agree with you. No, it's fine. That's, yes, that's where I'm the learning conversation. something. Yes, yeah. yeah yes, that's where the friend. conversation is. Yes, and also we, um, I'm sure others, we are also learning something here because mm. the information is very informative. Yeah. Um, um, now we said we we are done with the past. You've the explained past. the past, the present of now, tradition. Now the present of tradition. Thanks for remembering. Yes. So the past. There was a knowledge. It has evolved. And now we are where we are with that yes. knowledge. But now the present, this is where the present aspect of it mm-hmm. is at. 
we are at a position where now because of the information now attained yes we now feel like whatever has taught us must be discarded that's where now african spirituality now comes up that's where now you have pan african ideas mm. that want to say what something was wrong with the catholics for them to have brought us what their religion so that's where we are now that's tradition. where we are right tradition. now our tradition is at, yes. a, is at a point of an attack it feels like it's a war presently because yes, yes. let's say for instance people don't want that's why i wanted us when we focused mm, on mm, the tradition mm. or the culture part i i said what is it we have gotten from thing there, there isn't the discussion of the good anymore everybody just wants to point out no 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 this is wrong this mm, is what mm, this mm, is mm, what mm, mm. But what did we get from our from our from our from our from our past uh, state of culture that has brought that that has brought us to where we are? I know what wrong is from a moral perspective, mm -hmm. or from like uh, the idea that the boys are the ones that go out to work, the ladies that yes, stay home and things. We got yes. that from our culture. Mm. It has nothing to do with Eastern Middle uh, with western thing change. yeah mm. so but that's what we learned we learned that value but where does it come from also yes we if you look back into the bible where was eve when adam was working she was probably at home yes too relaxed probably chilled <laughs> reading the magazine waiting for happy to come waiting home. for us to for happy to come home and then mm. poof mm. a snake passed yes but at the end of the day, what what is this? It is, we have learned certain values that have grounded us. It is easier for you as a modern woman to define what you want to do yes. tomorrow because of those grounding. Yes, yes you don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. Yes, but you know what it's like to nature. Yes, so you wouldn't know what it means for you to be right now at work. Yes, if you didn't know what it's like to go back to home, home and yes. nature. Yes, now. When your husband comes back, he showers, he feels like sleeping. You, you get home, you think about cooking first. Yes. It's in your nature. Yes. That's like the first thing that you think about. He's like, what, mm -hmm. what's happening? You know? He might see onions and see beans and see, he doesn't think of what meal does this mean. Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, it's a headache. But for you, naturally, you might just... It's yes. within the it's woman. It's within the woman. And so, us. so this what is our culture then taught us it has taught us to value the grounding from which we grow from and also while we're on that because we are doing that yes we are because i take pride in that because if you can see the youth of today mm -hmm. if you can see the youth of today um i'll try by all means to explain in this way mm. there's so much sangomas mm -hmm. okay mm. and people are saying oh we have so much isangoma amakrecha and whatnot people mm -hmm. are saying that now mm -hmm. but for me i feel like we are the youth that um how am i going to put this um, explorer do not, do not yes. explore <laughs> <laughs> we are the youth that wants to do things if if we were taught things like tradition, mm -hmm. we were taught this is how we do things here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you get someone that is gifted. You, you go and tell the family members or the parents, this is what I'm experiencing. Then they will say, no, we don't do that here. Mm -hmm. But then this is what I'm facing now. Mm -hmm. Without fear or favor, the youth of today is following tradition. Mm -hmm. I think that is where we are. That is, I'm saying that let's add that to the points of where we are today. Let's mm -hmm. highlight the youth. Because our elders, mm -hmm. some of them, knows these things that, okay, at home we used to do this, but now I'm in the city, me and my kids and my, the family that I've created for myself, mm -hmm. we are not going to follow whatever that I was taught at home. Okay. Our elders. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm going to the part of where we are today. With the youth. With the youth. Do you know why for me, 
bringing up the subject matter yes um the subject matter of where the youth come into it there's too much too much for me um, how so there is too much um, should we be should, shouldn't we be proud that at least our generation is is moving forward with the tradition no, not, no, not, not, not 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 i'm not questioning okay. their tradition okay. um um uh, there is a lot of postmodernism okay that's what i want to bring into it uh, they can believe what they believe mm. there is a lot of postmodernism around all of these ideas yes everybody is trying to redefine it their way uh, before, are they wrong it creates problems wait let me okay. let me let okay. me highlight one they used to say that the nobody knows what's in the magician's box mm. right the same yes. way in uh, uh, sangoma yes. doesn't tell the secrets of the trade yes but now we have television shows where people are performing witchcraft live on television yes yes so what's that it's postmodernism yes it's where you have the youth who are now saying you know what uh this creates a factor to me mm. you know it creates either a fear factor or a, an interesting factor to me and so they have now grabbed that sensationalizing the idea even though they are they are some of them are overdoing it yes to a point where they are lying i'm i'm not stupid i know very well you cannot perform mm. a ritual that yes. works on television yes. now man you are lying but what if you are that gifted no you, there is no such the spirits cannot show. remember there is a restriction here god created yes, that i know see, so already we know t- there is an area of a lie that i agree with you so the postmodernism that's the that's the disgusting part mm, of it mm, mm. cuz someone is trying to be feared so much that they would go on to lie about what someone says of mm. and they blame their answers it of no jola just say you want to jol you want to go out and jol go and jol have, and have uh, as many as you want have as many as you want if you want to do that go ahead and do that mm. but don't take that and then say i'm at home mom mm. but what if it's something that their forefathers were practicing there is no such but me and you the, were not the there. gift no the gift the gift has nothing to do with the life of that person okay okay the gift remember uh, what's the teaching guys the, this is what i like about mm. traditional people a lot of them you listen to them you listen to the core teachings mm. of mm. ubungo i watch a lot of mm. as a woman me too so you watch their videos and they tell you what is it was it was mm. it's a spirit that was not that has not fulfilled yes. all its juice down here so then it tells you then okay then it was yeah i want I, i want those that do not understand that what is it was <laughs> then you then you can educate them that there's no way that ubabom cool could say have as many wives as you want it doesn't work like that it doesn't because that's not part of the gifting that is supposed to translate it has nothing to do with that because now it's affecting because first of all it's not his whole life to begin with it's not you are not taking on the spirit so for those that are not mm. clear it grows it's an ancestral spirit yes yes okay so you are not taking on the the life of your ancestral spirit uh uh-uh. that's not what it is it's you are fulfilling the things he did not finish so right now that's why i say we are facing a situation where we have a postmodern idea which is converting perverting and making it worse it's perverting no, no, this <laughs> Ricky. too much but ricky um while we're on this part yes table and inclusive um remember this culture okay remember this culture mm. Some will say mina ngingumzulu kumele ngibeni nabafaza abaninzi amzulu some will say amzulu and and i have to have more than one or two wives okay 
Now, there, there is yes. now an interesting one right there. Yes. Ooh, I like that you brought that mm. one because when you did, it reminded me of a verse. Okay. The Bible says, <laughs> <laughs> God said he created men and women after their kind. Ne? Mm -hmm. So God created in God. Yes. And a woman. Yes. And these after their kind. The man, when he gets initiated, he goes to the mountain. The woman goes to yes. Ilonto Zanin. I don't yes. even know yeah, where yeah. they go, but they go somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so as we'll be there, you, you are not allowed to <laughs> snoop around with things. So, but mm. notice here, the life of the man is the life of the man. The woman did not assume the life of, of a man. man. This goes... That comes and takes over the spirit, the, the, the life of a lady. There's, there's a problem here. You have a male spirit that is now possessing a female. Re explain that. First of all, okay, for those that don't know, in, in South Africa, yes. a, a lady can be called umkulu. Yes. Now, umkulu is a male yes. spirit. Elder. Yes. Right? A male ancestor. A male Because they ancestor. need to know that it's someone that has passed away. Uh -huh. Yes. So now, the lady will be called Umkul. How? Yes. Why, are you, why are you asking how? Let's say, Umkul, that was living on, on, on this, this is earth before. This topic of another day. Oh, oh, it is. We need it, my friend. We, we, we need it because I want to crush you. No problem. No it. problem. We'll we come back to but it. I just want, I just want uh, my brothers and sisters from other countries to understand this part. Mm. That um, umkulu, let's say it's a male spirit. Yes. Or it's a, a grandfather that was living on this earth. Yes. But now he's on the other side. Now, to me, can get to a female grandchild. How? Can. Okay, now let's understand. God created the laws. That govern the world. Ne? And can we, we say we believe in God. Yes, we believe in God. So and God, acknowledge God, ancestors. <laughs> God created the, 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 the laws that govern this world. Yes. Ne? Which means God has put it that a man teaches a male child. Why? Because the male child will learn the values of how to treat. To and to be a man. And how to be a man. Mm. He goes, he learns how to go and hunt and do what, 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 and all these things. What then is this spirit that's supposedly a male doing in a female? Remember, Ricky, my friend, that um, a spirit doesn't go to just anyone. Let's start there. Okay. A spirit doesn't go to just anyone. Mm -hmm. A spirit gifts the living on the earth. Okay. They are gifts. They are healing powers. Okay, now we are getting into the gifting area. Okay, so we are now translating for those that we're, are following. We are translating from the, the, the tradition and culture into the religion of, of tradition and culture. Because this is a religion. Yes, because we were talking about cool. Yes. And we explained all okay. educated. So go back to that spirit. Mm. Yes. So, because you are not agreeing that, oh, you, 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 the gifting, you are saying, please finish the gifting part. Yes, yes. The gifting. Mm -hmm. Remember the spirit, because someone can have umkulu, a female, a living grandchild can have umkulu that has passed within her. Let's say umkulu was a, was a greatest healer. Umkulu was a great healer. But then Umkulu looks at who's the living uh, grandchildren that he has uh -huh. and says, no, you know what? Let me uh, live through her. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And there is something okay. like that. Okay. Where I'm so, not agreeing with you is saying that there's no such. How can a, let a, a me explain male... Why yes. I let me let me explain. Hi, I don't agree with you there, my friend. Because because of the, 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 the boundary laws that I explained earlier okay. on. Okay. God, God has put it that a man doesn't give birth. A man is not put here to understand the full scales of what this body of a woman faces. Mm. I don't have that. Mm. That's the one thing. 
it's the one thing I don't get to do. Mm. I don't get to feel what it feels like. That three days of horror every month. I don't get that. Okay. There's somewhere okay. I'm going with that. Okay. Because remember. Ooh. Bring it on, when, Baba. When you said the spirit, mm. when you said the spirit is the one that's gifting the gift to the child. Has good to um to um and um cool. That's what that's what I I meant. Okay, yeah. no problem. No problem. It's mm, not that mm, part. Mm. The, the the issue there is it's no longer God who's gifting. And according to the Bible, it's We're not God. Saying that. We're not saying it's not God. But it's the un it's the because if it's God, remember, if it's God, God has assigned males to teach males and females to teach females. Okay. So you are saying we cannot say to a guy, go, go. That yeah. we cannot do. No, we can't. We can't. So someone can th there's a question on the spirit. What what spirit are you talking to? Or are you are you bringing that to be continued? <laughs> Viewers, we'll come back when we come back to this yes. topic. We'll de we'll deal with what. How do we identify the spirit? We have to. Yeah. We have to. Mm. Because we have to. Because if if we are saying, if we are saying, if you think about it, if we are saying that this is the part where tradition gets the religion, it has its own religion. Because now, first of all, the ancestors are the ones who are guiding you. Yes. Where is the Holy Spirit? The, the ancestors are the, uh, the ones that are giving you the gift. Where is God? The ancestors are yes. the ones that are saving you mm. and taking you out of trouble and problems. Where is Jesus? Remember those people that believe in tradition. Remember. Oh, they are, that's their own Jesus. No, no, no. Remember those that, oh, we, because I myself, I also believe in tradition. We are not saying we are praising ancestors. You're we not praising acknowledge them. them. Mm. You are, we praise God, but we do acknowledge ancestors. I hear you. We have knowledge yes, joined. The man has joined. <laughs> My brother. Are we continuing Welcome. the topic? Welcome. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. This is the topic. Um, okay, let me not take you from N100 no, where you know we what? come from. Let me put you where we are today. Yeah. Or now. Yeah. At this very moment. Mm. Here's the thing. There's a spirit. Mm. This is where my brother Ricky and I are not agreeing to. There's a spirit. Mm. There's God. Mm. There's gifts. Mm. Okay, am I am I? Yes, you are still right? on. Okay. Mm. There's there's spirits. There's God. There's gifts. Mm. Now the debate is. There's a female spirit. Mm. There's a male spirit. Okay. Mm. There's a grandchild on earth. Mm. Remember, the spirits are on the other side. Like we believe it's. Mm people that has passed they on the other side mm. so we will we, we'll, we'll call it that way now there's a grandchild living on earth mm. the daughter or let's say the daughter mm. let's say the daughter mm. and i as the grandfather mm. that has passed mm. wants the granddaughter mm -hmm. to, f to fulfill whatever i did not complete on 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 earth mm. Okay, mm. then my friend next to me, Ricky, says that there's no way that a male spirit can go uh, 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 and live through a female child, or, or yes, a female child mm. on the living earth. There's no such. Where do you stand on that? My brother. On that issue. <laughs> yes. Um, so it, while you're getting that issue that just for curiosity part yeah what do you call in in, in here uh, in my african land which mm. is uh the motherland south africa mm. we call the ancestors amajos what mm. do you call them in in, in Ghana? ancestors okay is there no other way maybe a home language oh you mean uh what is the name yeah yes. i'm trying to say uh in some for in Samafo, right? In Samafo. And our ancestors are saying, yeah, in Samafo. In Samafo, okay. Yeah, I, okay. In Samafo is like ghost, it. anyway. In Samafo is like ghost. Uh, Doing I think something else, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, there's okay, a right yeah, name yeah. for it, but uh, this thing with spirit and all that, uh, yes. for us, uh, it's a bit different. I thought okay. the subject was about religion, right? Yes, you know, you know, you're not you 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 you're not mistaken or you're not lost. You're yeah. on the right path. Mm. But my question is, tell me, 
How is even possible? I want to understand how possible. A male, let's say a grandfather that has passed away. Yeah. Okay. Let me make. Who an decide and who knows how a, a grandfather now decide he want to come into a, a baby that is born today? How? How? Who decide that? How do we know that level? I want to understand. How do you know? Even though I've heard before, mm -hmm. I've also known in my country there are people that says like you give birth to a child and then he look very different from all your kids mm. and then he looks like your great grandfather and then he says this guy talks like my great so we also says that person came and live in in search even though i don't understand how mm. they came about the whole story but mm. we do believe in it also okay so you also do believe so do you in believe a male a male grandfather that has passed away so remember around mm. the idea of uh, the ancestors mm. that we have mm. is that the ancestor died before he fulfilled yes. his calling mm. so he comes back, back. in that child mm. and, and this is where it kind of trips me up again <laughs> he is supposedly in that child mm. and yet the child still needs to be initiated what are you being initiated with the grandfather is already there <laughs> yeah because that is a formality i believe that is a formality that once you have giving birth and then you come up that is that is even actually what described the culture of south africa because mm -hmm. that is the uniqueness okay you need to pass through the same process again and that is what makes you a south african okay i think we'll talk about ritual rights when we talk about the religion aspect yeah of things. okay but let's stick to this part here mm. so as far as you hear it granddaughter mm. receives a, a receives spirit a, from grandfather a, 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 the spirit of a grandfather does this sound i like that question that you asked by the way mm. how do we even know mm. it's him that's a very good question <laughs> but but but, 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 but ah, no but they always say they, say they yes. come through dreams they give signs obviously someone will go and and consult mm. Mm -hmm. someone will go and consult and say um oh some might get even like he okay then even before they they explain that uh, I'm here to consult about such. Okay. Um, some might get even lucky and be told that you are here uh, because of your grandfather. And this is we are talking about the daughter now. Okay. Uh, uh, my granddaughter, mm. you are here because um, of your grandfather. Your grandfather lives through you. Your grandfather wants you to do A, B, and C. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now your grandfather. Now let's talk about that experience, ne? that a person mm. goes through some people actually lose their jobs yes and it's sad how is this your grandfather guys <laughs> how do we know this is your grandfather because Why? you're not paying attention to what they want they couldn't live their life and now they are here to ruin mm. mine that's where i have a problem mm. live yours okay <laughs> you are saying to them you know what you have lived your your your, your life and you failed. now allow me to live mine but then then you continue praising god say god this is what i want please bless me to one two three mm. then your life is still stuck anyway you ignored their wishes or what they want them to do mm. you continue praising god mm -hmm. but your life is still stuck anyway mm -hmm. okay. but then no I, I i i'm trying to to, 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 you're to trying to tread carefully. Mm. I know what I know what you <laughs> you're trying to tread carefully, and I know why. Ne? Mm. Mm. There is many of us who who don't have. A, I don't have a spirit behind okay. me. Mm. Ne? There is no ancestor. If they showed up, mm. there is a hot clap. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have a hot clap <laughs> for them. Don't even try it. <laughs> and so I do. I don't have mm. a spirit thingy. There is nobody in my family that has that, and okay. so I don't Are want you to. Sure? yes okay you know there was my grand grandmother and stuff like that but that okay. was that mm. but i don't have it it's not there it's even if they showed up mm. like it just they just they will have a very tough time like a really really tough time mm. first of all if they are my ancestor they are here supposedly to do me good yes. and they start by ruining my life ah oh, come on guys <laughs> your ancestors can do you good what they want okay let me make an example Mm. I am carrying someone. It's Tony. Okay. Someone that yeah, loved an praying. Yes, an angel. Mm. Someone that loved praying. Okay. Uh, sometimes I would have moments where um, 
let's say we are sitting together, we are just chit-chatting, not while I'm working. Mm. Because obviously before I let her know that, look, I'm going to work, mm. you know. Mm. Um, so let's say... Masana a register, basically. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Mm. Not really. Because when you are carrying a spirit or having an angel with you, mm. obviously when there are funny energies around you, they will want to, to give manifest. some vibrations, yes. Okay. But I think it's the way you communicate with them. Mm -hmm. It's the relationship you create with them. Okay, let's say it's not easy. It's not easy to be gifted. Yes. It's not easy. You have your life, happy life. You are this child, you know, praising God. And you want any mishmish business with ancestors because you are this child mm -hmm. loving God. Mm -hmm. Then you have this spirit mm -hmm. or angel mm -hmm. that says, hello, I'm here. I want to live through you. Mm -hmm. Do this for me. Mm -hmm. I think this is what they don't want. Okay. Most of people, because their life is stuck, it's, it's because they neglect them. Okay. They become ignorant. Mm. Uh, I don't want to say like you. Mm, no, 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 don't worry me, I'm safe. Don't worry, you can say <laughs> that. You can say that. Mm. Chomi, <laughs> if you are carrying an ancestor or spirit with you, to me it's safe to obey so that your life can be easy. Okay, but then why do you need to be initiated? I understand he said... Mm. Yes. You said it's the right, mm. right? It's mm. the yes. spiritual right yeah. you have to go through True. and mm. stuff like that in mm. order to think. Mm. These people are your parents. Mm. But <laughs> they, <laughs> no. no, they're your parents <laughs> in what way? <laughs> 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 your, your, your ancestors, <laughs> <laughs> their blood runs through you. Okay. What am I meaning? Mm. What am I saying? Mm. They know your heart like God does. They mm. know your heart. They know whether you are going to do something or not. Okay. I think where people are failing is to communication, to say, my guides, I am, I can't do this. Okay. Let alone, don't be ignorant. Because mm -hmm. I think that is where people get uh, challenges. Okay. Or that is where uh, their lives become stuck. Upside down. They become ignorant. Mm -hmm. To make it easy, obey. If you can't do, or if you don't have means to go and start the processes, because as you are saying, you are, there's no need because ah, I get it, the cool is already there. Yeah, yeah, he's there. He's chilling. I shouldn't be spending 9,000 on a coat. He's there. He's, he's, he's chilling. He's totally, he, speak he to came Kulu with to make means. To make means. So don't be ignorant. Speak. Okay, now. That's what. Sit down. <laughs> um, Sit down with Mkulo, sit down to the late grandfather and say, Grandfather, you know and you see okay. that I don't, I'm not even working. Okay. Let me ask him something. Mm. Okay. Now, the reason why I want to ask him this question is you tell me where you stand on this. Okay. Mm. A lot of people then come up and say, Their ancestors are in the water. Mm. At that time, your ancestors probably didn't even know how to swim. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing in the water? Mm. Mm. So, so, and then again, or they say your ancestors came in the form of a snake. How? How? Mountains. How? Ricky. The creature, remember, God created everything after its own kind. Mm. So by law, mm. if they are coming back to you, they will come back as themselves. So why is it? I'm not. By the way, I'm not no, saying no, I mean, doubt no. your thing. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I'm just saying this is where I am very much convinced they are not my ancestors. If anybody comes back, <laughs> they are not my ancestors. They will have to explain. We <laughs> must. How should your ancestors come back? As how themselves, should? if they're as right, the living flesh. No, really no, no. Ricky? Not not in the living flesh. Okay. If it's my grandfather, mm. he comes back as himself. Okay, like in the dream, whatever. Mm. But, but that's what I've been saying to me. But remember, so where does the snake come in? Mm. Some people, they are, their grandfather, that's why they have snakes on their thingy. It's because their grandfathers came in the form of a snake. How? 
Snake, Garden of Eden. I think mm. some people are, are doing other things with tradition. Okay. So you see now, mm. there is now the religion, mm. which is satanic. Yes. Yes. Oh. Some are doing it the wrong way. Now you are you are acknowledging. Some <laughs> some are doing it the wrong way, John. Mm. Some are doing it the wrong way. Mm. Yes, tradition is there. Mm. Ancestors are there. Mm-hmm. Ancestors are there, but that does not give us a right to do it. Whatever on, we on want. our will or on or, or on So if they told you your ans- your ancestors are at the what? To be honest with you, <laughs> yes. Your answers are not what? Let me let is me tell you I know it's the thing that they <laughs> yes. work with ma- with water and candles. And Ndaba, Ndaba, yes. which is the mountains. Yes. Mm. Those are not under do not understand Ndaba it's mountains. Okay. Um when I pray sometimes when I go, you know I actually I have um a cloth with me. I okay. wish I can show can I show them? Yeah, you have it with you. Yes, yeah, I do. Yeah. I no, bought it, it. I bought it earlier. Thank God we're having this conversation because <laughs> I put yeah, the black bag. You have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> <laughs> you brought a lot of stuff. Yeah, Are you yeah. a sangoma? No, I'm not a sangoma. I have a stone. Um, the black bag inside that bag. Mm. Okay, so I bought, I bought, yeah, I just wanna show them something. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah. While while he's bringing yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, guys. Um. Searching my bag for <laughs> you know she has hair dryers. <laughs> I can see Elvis him. does not want to touch can, my bag. I, can yeah, I don't want to go in, No, I don't want to go in there. I don't know what I'm going to find. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find, so I don't want to get in there. There's knife, the scaffolding Jesus inside. It's a whole lot of <laughs> and so there's bottle inside. It's a healthy conversation to have. Yes. And also it's uh, it, it will also help for people to question. Have you asked all the questions? And how far do these Just questions go? And how mm. deep do these questions root? Mm. Like, for, ex- for example, when I'm asking, how is my ancestor a, a snake? It's a very relevant question. You know, it's something that a person should think about. Like, for instance, she's, she speaks, uh, she's got the blue one, the blue and black. Yes. All right. Um, all right. This is on what I want to show. All right. She walks with it, guys. This is very serious business. This is this is a, a big thing. This morning, <laughs> but it was, I saw it, and no, I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I know. They and say you are attracted it, to yes. it. You get attracted because to it because you don't just buy any cloth. Mm. Yeah. You do, you don't just buy any you cloth. Feel it. You get shown. No, you don't feel it. Okay, some say they feel it. Or you get but you saw you it in a dream. You, you you get shown in a dream. Okay. You you sometimes in a dream okay. you wear it. Okay. You see yourself wearing, wearing that it in a dream. Mm. So there's but a I, there's a lion. Mm-hmm. It's a lion down at the bottom. It's a lion. There's a there are, stars, there are colors. A star of blue David. and white represents water. Okay. Yes. Mm. Blue and white represents water. Some may show white cloth. Okay. More yeah. especially those those that love um there are flowers in there. No, it's not flowers. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to I'm trying to know oh, these flowers. what yeah. the name of the flower is. I can't remember exactly at the moment, but there's the star of David, six point star of is that David. A star of David? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. There's oh, a star okay. of David. There. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, no, I'm being it's honest, quite an interesting one. That. That. That's good. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's in, it's very interesting. So I, I saw it earlier either. today. Then because I know I saw it, then I know that I needed to buy it. Mm. And I'm not just going to use it. No, you don't do that. You are partial. You need so, to. So you need to, to, to do, do a ritual. To, not necessarily a ritual. Um, okay, I'm going to take this cloth, mm-hmm. uh, light a sage and candles. And tell my ancestors that I found it. It's kind of like it's kind of like Harry Potter. Harry Potter finds his staff, <laughs> you know, guys. So she's found the staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you understand? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And then um, he's gonna do the magic. Yeah. No, we don't do magic. Some it depends on how your ancestor or whatever spirit you carry mm. wants you to do. Mm. Okay, but I also wanted to find out. This is not about sangoma. No, no, no. Some sangomas carry this. 
Mm. But so you are not a sangoma. No, you, I'm not a sangoma. Okay, so the the spirit thing you guys are talking of is it different from the sangoma people we know no, in town? No, it's not. Is it not it's the not, same it's thing? Not. It's, it's, it's in it's, a line. It's not. Oh. It's not. Some are some, some are, are sangomas. Mm-hmm. Some are is tunyo, which is those are for for example the person that I'm carrying mm. was a prayer warrior. She was a very oh she was. Like you know those if there's someone that i uh, used to get ill in her time mm. people will call her no oh. so to go and pray for them yes mm. to get healed mm. so that's the kind of uh spirit that i'm carrying mm. Mm. um or sometimes i would have a moment like if i want to pray mm. i will just um not pray because i'm sitting with people mm. but i will just maybe play a gospel song okay mm-hmm. Interesting. so so that's a that's an interesting one. Interesting. I didn't know, guys. I didn't know. Very interesting. She, interesting. she found the she found the staff. So now, but then, but then uh, <laughs> some would say, "No, that's a lion. It shows she has a sang mm. But my ancestors haven't said that. Um, you must do the re- yes the thing of of being a sang yeah. Oh, you just have the you can you can just carry a, a spirit and just follow up and not becoming a sang You can carry a spirit, yeah. but what does the spirit want oh i cannot be carrying a spirit and just what does the spirit want to me like mm-hmm. i cannot just carry a spirit because and... remember they are here to fulfill what mm. they yes, didn't so i cannot just mm. carry mm. 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 but does it oh, mean and also i cannot do what let's say for an example let's say rick is gifted mm. and he's a song mm. just because i see Uguti, Ricky yeah. being a sangoma works for him. You mm. know what? Let me go and wear red and white and be a sangoma. No. Mm. What if that's mm. not want my? What if that's mm. not what? That's not the want? spirit that you yes. have. So it's about them. Mm, the spirit and the spirit get to choose who they want, right? Yes, they do that. So not all the people not in the world has, has that spirit. Has the spirit. Oh, she doesn't throw the bombs. Yeah, no. no, she gets messages. <laughs> Oh, you get messages. And prayer. I pray a lot. Mm, so you get messages. I pray a lot. Mm. I want to go to the water part. Mm. I remember going to the water because mm-hmm. I have another cloth. Put it I, down because it will erupt you. <laughs> yeah. No, it won't. It won't. I did oh, sign the register. Okay, it hasn't been. I haven't registered yet. It hasn't been registered. It has not been registered <laughs> yet. <laughs> but. Besides that, I did sign a register, like you mentioned. I I, I, I spoke to her mm-hmm. before I, I, I went. Before you started to work, yes. Yeah, no. So I did sign a register. Okay, my no, no. <laughs> um, so um, the water, you want yeah, to Yeah, the water. About that. I remember going to the water. Mm-hmm. Um, so I bought a blue and white cloth that has an elephant. Oh, I just remembered mm-hmm. something from okay. Ghana just now. Mm-hmm. Just remind me, red and red and black. Okay, red, red and black. black. Okay. okay. So uh, um, I bought. Uh, they showed me a. A blue and white cloth that has an elephant. Okay. Mm. So I bought the cloth. Then I was I was shown to go to the water with it. Mm. So and pray with it and pray mm-hmm. with it. So I went to the water. Oh. I asked. Uh, a, 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 she's not a friend, but someone I know to accompany me. But she's a sangoma. Okay. But she's carrying. She's saying she's carrying two spirits because sometimes she wears isitunya attire. Which is the angel's attire, and sometimes she wears the song of attire. Okay. But so I asked her to accompany him just because the only reason I asked her because it's um it's because it's the world, the forest. So I, I get scared. Okay. And um mm. there's water there. Okay. It's very nice. It's a place in Cape Town. Okay. So we went there and I prayed and okay. Exactly what I was shown. Okay. Then out of the water, uh, there's something. What do you call this? What do you call unongala in English? No, no, no. Umamlambo. No, unongala. No, umamlambo. Remember, it's like the fish. This, yeah. Yes. But unongala, it's that. What do you call the in a frog. English? No, no, not a Octopus. frog. Octopus. Um, I think Crab. that's the word. It's um. That it's has like a, a lot spider, of. Yeah. A lot of Octopus. Octopus. Hmm. Okay, I will show you guys a picture. <laughs> like a it's slim. It, yeah, no, no, it, it's it's not big. Like jelly stuff. It's like inga It's Oh, like jellyfish. Is it jellyfish? It's not a jellyfish, guys. But okay, mm. uh, it's one of those that, creatures. 
English is not my mother tongue friend, no, but fine. I will, I will, I will, I will, guys, I will show you a picture later. Yeah. So that thing came out of the water while I was praying. Okay. While I was praying. Mm. So that thing came out of the water and danced because it was, it kept jumping and dancing, kept jumping and dancing. Mm. And while I was praying, um, I saw an elder, an elderly woman. Um, next to it. No, 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 not next to it. Mm. Remember. <laughs> When it's jumping, okay. it's reality, it's happening. But while I'm praying, remember, I'm not... You have a vision. Mm, I have a, a vision, vision of an elderly. Mm. I'm not having a vision of that Nongala. <laughs> that Nongala is real. Seeing, yeah. Yes. But I have a vision. While I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. Mm -hmm. I have a vision of this um, elderly woman um, standing in a green grass, mm -hmm. um, wearing a zivato. Also praying. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. um, so when some are saying that they have ancestors in the water, they're not wrong. If they believe they have, they do. They have. I, this idea that. I have. You know, it's all about what you believe in. Yeah, no, if, that's, if, if yeah, some people I, buy the idea or yeah. they gravitate to the idea, I get the whole thing of the mm. whole portal thing. Mm. And I guess maybe that's where it comes from. Mm. Um, but there's a lot of things that become very dangerous. Yes, mm, it is. because remember, yes, this yes, is where this yes, is where we yes. talk about a uh, peak hour. Like a peak hour, it's not a joke. Mm. You know, when they say mm. twelve o'clock, mm. mm. when they say three o'clock, mm. it's because at this particular mm. period, mm. the the spirit, uh, this particular spirit, mm. allow certain portals mm. existence mm. in order for them mm. to transmit mm. people that are not initiated. Yeah. By the mm, way, mm. Mm. that's true. So, the idea of that key moment time is mm. that the people that would normally not be able to mm. cross, mm. they cross. Mm. It's true. So that's why a lot of witching mm. and whatnot mm. takes place at that time. Is that yes. it allows them to interact back mm. Mm. with the physical world mm. and yes. stuff like that. And so it gets dangerous. And where, when we say a familiar spirit and i think a lot of times people use the term demon mm. loosely mm -hmm. but there's a lot we can explain with a familiar spirit a familiar spirit is one that studies the life out of you mm. it's an ancient spirit they are called the the ancient ones mm. when the bible talks about old of age and whatnot mm. it's talking about those spirits mm. That's a familiar spirit. It has studied your generations. It has studied your crannies, your whatnots and whatnots. It can mm. appear exactly like them. And mm. as a matter of fact, Corinthians warns about them. It says they are spirits of angels mm. mimicking themselves mm. to be angels of light. Mm. So they can come in a Any form. In a form that yeah. you can accept. Mm. Mm. So the idea of the spirit is to deceive, to like remember. Mm. Um, what is what is the story of Umam Lambo or mm. the mermaid with the pirate story? If you can remember, I don't. the pirate story. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very interesting story. If you think about it, the mm. pirates were not uh, to interact with a mermaid. Mm. If you go back and watch like mm. Jack Sparrows and Pirates of the Caribbean, mm. yeah, they, okay, those movies. Yeah, they they look like they're they're teaching fairy tales. Mm. It's not fairy tales. Mm. You didn't interact with the mermaid. Mm. And if you did, it will hypnotize you mm. to a point where you just follow it. Yes. And how does it capture them? It goes down into the water and they will follow it. Mm. And as they follow it, they drown mm. and die, die. right? Mm. And so think about that idea. Think about mm. think about the myth that's been taught. Not the, yes, yes, the, yes, the, yes, the yes, myth. Yes. Think about the myth that's been taught. Mm. Greek mythology mm. teaches about the Medusa, the mm. symbol that you see on the Versace logo, mm. Mm. The, the, the lady yeah. with the serpent mm. head. Yeah. She was a beautiful lady that had a beautiful, amazing appearance, mm. and the goddess cursed her mm. uh, so that she, she, would, she would not be beautiful. Mm. And anybody that looks on her would mm. freeze mm. and die oh. as they are. Mm. Now think about that idea mm. as well. <laughs> what spirit is that? <laughs> Yeah, but that means you actually believe in spirit. No, I do believe in spirits. I don't yeah. interact with them. Yeah. Oh. I do not interact mm. with spirits. Yeah. Why? Because okay. why? Spirits are very deceptive. The Bible warns about that. Mm. It warns consistently that 
and there's a lot of deception behind it like for instance mm. the medusa one if you think about the, the, the story of the medusa mm. that one is a really captive mm. that's the spirit of where people sell their souls mm. 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 if you can't change your mind mm. after you've gone there there yeah if you decide to change your mind that's it you mm. you're out and gone mm. and so later on we'll talk about the spirit the water the interest and the religious the religion aspect mm. that comes out of this thing mm. okay. because if we are saying these are spirits what spirit it's people who lived before us coming back to that thank time. you so much guys for watching remember you can engage with us or join us in all our social media platforms and it's at Equanaba TV. Remember on YouTube, it's Equanaba TV official. You can also download our radio station on Play Store, which is Equanaba Radio. For those that are watching on Kumasi TV and King Tom TV, we do acknowledge from Ghana. Toodles. Thank you for watching.